We have over 220 committees uh, at TRB, again, covering virtually anything you can think of related to transportation. It gives individuals an opportunity to come, dialogue with, interact, learn from the experts in whatever fields in transportation they're interested in. We're expecting as the technology evolves, there are going to be many issues, uh, regulatory issues, uh, issues in terms of driver acceptance, issues that we really need to be doing research associated with to ensure that we have as smooth a transition and as rapid a transition as possible to uh, use of these technologies. Uh, companies like Uber or Lyft and uh, the shared economy, what effect is this going to have on transportation? How will it change, for, uh, for example, the parking in cities and doing research on things like that. What portion of the travel demand in metropolitan areas can actually be expected to be met through use of these types of technologies? Many people think about it really being what do we have to do to change the transportation system from what we call an adaptation standpoint. For example, making sure that our bridges are big enough to be passing floods. But it's much more than that. It's planning for the events. It's really having in place the, the, the types of uh, contingency plans that we need for when the events are occurring so that we're managing them during the event. And then recovering as quickly as possible. And we're really looking at addressing all of those issues. The number one cause of death in the United States between age four and 34 is traffic crashes. And we don't think about that as a health issue, but for example, if we can be responding to traffic crashes more quickly, getting people to trauma centers within the golden hour, that ends up having a, a tremendous impact in terms of saving lives. If we can be trying to get everyone to be wearing seat belts, that's been concluded to be the number one most cost-effective public health intervention that we can be making in the United States. That's a transportation issue directly related to public health. TRB has actually done an analysis on investments in research and development in transportation. And we are now spending one-seventh what we did in 1970 in terms of the percentage of the gross domestic product that goes into research and development in, in transportation. And this is, really threatens our future if we are not doing the type of research that we need to to be making advances uh, in transportation and its role in society.